So you do it more, more than one hospice then? Yeah, I do it, I do it for uh, the half an half, you know, that's for what it yeah, does. Yeah, and Gemma's. And yeah. I also do it for Martin House. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. yeah I started doing it for Martin House this year because <coughs> there was quite a few stopped me and said, I wish you'd do some for Martin House like yeah, last yeah. year that was. Yeah. So I said, well, yeah, we're getting on and I said, I'll start next year and do some for Martin House as well. Yeah. yeah. I've got nearly £6,000 this year, Martin House. That's good. Yeah, that's the children's one, isn't it? Yeah. Martin House, yeah, that's for the children, children isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the children's one. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. Mm. Yeah, I'm at the Duchess. Yeah. <laughs> so you're down at Bond Street? Well, every, every day? Not every day. I go cut it to the weather, you know. Yeah. I try to get at least three days in if I can. Three days a week, you yeah. know. Mm. Cause sometimes I can't get out at all with weather. So. No, yeah. no. Especially in winter. Yeah. But uh, I take advantage of weather now, you know. If weather's good, I say, well, I might as well go, you see. Yeah. That's the best way yeah. to do it. And you have your own little pitch? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right at the end of Bond Street. Lovely. Well, at the end of Commercial Street, really, so ah. catch oh, everybody coming up yeah. and down Albion Street. Yeah. That's the one, yeah. 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 It's a bit, uh, a bit breezy and a bit cold sometimes, but <laughs> wife always says that I get well wrapped up, so I'm not so bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> does she, yeah does, she bring you the, does she bring you the flasks of tea and stuff? No, I take it with me. I take it with me. <laughs> yeah. I was just wondering whether you were, you know, you were that good a wife. You were sort of following him around with the flasks of tea or not. <laughs> I enjoy doing it. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been doing it for? Two about two years and eight months. Three years, three, three years in November anyway. Three years in November. Fifth of November, November first time. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And do you do anything else besides? <coughs> no, never have done. <coughs> I played it. I make tapes. Yeah. I make uh, at home, you know. Mm, yeah. No elaborate equipment like you have. <laughs> Just a tape, uh, yeah. a dual tape recorder. It's a good yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. And I make two tapes and they've done like hot cakes. Lovely. Oh, that's good. Anyway, I sold over a, a thousand pounds worth, haven't I? Mm. Somebody who does, yeah, as somebody who doesn't know, what instrument do you play, though? Piano accordion. The piano accordion. Yeah. I didn't know because. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I tend to, I drift through that precinct fairly often, but I'm too busy trying to watch where I'm going rather than anything else. Yeah, I usually get there at about half past ten and I stop till about half past two or three o'clock. Yeah. I've had enough then, like, you know. Yeah. yeah. Continuous music. Yeah. But I, very rare, I have less than a hundred pound, you know. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. More and more, every time I go, there's more people talking to me. Every time Hawk goes at fair for about me, there's somebody else wants to talk to me. I can't get them with planes and so I, I was about to say there, it's a good job you don't sing as well, otherwise you wouldn't get any words in. Do you sing as well? I don't sing, I'm a rotten singer. <laughs> I'm not to say it, it's a pride and it, it I, brings uh, money in. Yeah. Good job you're a good accordion player. Oh, no, I haven't inherited the voice from the family. <laughs>
into it? Hmm? What got you into doing it for the different charities? Well, because I'd always thought uh, I'd like to do something for the hospitals, mostly, mm. because they're big up to us, you know. Mm -hmm. They always had two big operations, two heart operations. Mm. I had a brain operation for trigeminal neuralgia, and uh, well, you've absolutely marvelous. <laughs> yeah. So I've always felt somehow as if I ought, I ought to try and do something for me, see. Mm. And then, of course, being able to play, and I, I used to go around entertaining old folks, you know. Yeah. And I thought, well, people do appreciate it. Oh, they do, yeah. So uh, I thought, yeah. I'll go see what I can get for half an hour for play when that started, you mm. see. Yeah. So uh, I said, uh, I said to, to the wife, I said, well, beautiful morning, you know, but November the 5th, two years ago, sunshine, everything. I said, well, I think I'll go this morning for half an hour and see how, how I'll go on. Yeah. She said, well, you've talked about it long enough to get yourself off, like, so, mm -hmm. of course I went. And going out, I said to her, I'll better get 25 or 30 pounds. <laughs> so I went and I started, and I couldn't believe it, the way money was coming in. Uh, oh, so it, they were queuing to put yeah. money in box. Yeah. yeah. You see, so, uh, mm -hmm. when, it, when it got to about 3 o'clock, this was from about 11, I thought, well, what am I going to do with it all? It was full of money, what, Bob? <laughs> and I couldn't carry it, you see. Uh -huh. So I said to the policeman that's on there, I said, can I get in touch with Evening Post to collect this? Because I can't carry it, you yeah. see. Mm. So I said, well, I, I'll get it for you. You'll go ring them up. So that's what I did. Yeah. And they come and collected it. took me home. They took money down there. They rung me up at night. And they said, do you know how much the war bill? I said, well, I should say around about £100. They said they were £210.65. Good grief. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. That was three and a half hours. Yeah. All I can say. All I can yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all I can say yeah. to that is you must be a good player. I must be better than what I thought. Was. <laughs> <laughs> At that time, though, there were no hardly any buskers in Leeds. There were no other charities being collected for that. That's right. Yeah. And I do believe now there's, there's uh, loads of them. Well, I do believe on last count. The least told me that when it had been in paper about me, because I put it in paper, you say two hundred and half pounds. He said they were down here in droves and said after that were muskers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was well, trying to make a living. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, yeah. Listen, I do know there's, uh, on last count uh, earlier this year, there was 180 charities in Leeds. And if you remember the miners' strike recently, mm. that knocked quite a few charities, didn't it? You know, it, oh, it yes. killed a few charities yeah. because yeah. Uh, uh, the miners were out grabbing it mm. over and above and. Uh, the charity yeah. just went by the wall. I'll say they were grabbing it. <laughs> well. so a bloke put his hand in my box, wouldn't they? there? <laughs> yes. And oh. I was talking to something when I turned around, he had his hand. Oh. It's full of money. Yeah. I said, hey, what are you doing? Put it back. <laughs> <laughs> he said, it's all right, I'm only collecting a bit for miners. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's not bad, taking it for hospitals, for miners. Yeah, yeah. I presume when you're down there, Bill, um, obviously you got one or two people floating around by you. Do you get any people that are sort of a bit offhandish? One or two. Just they happen don't like what you're doing. Yeah, just a kind of, uh, other week a, a chap coming past and said, you pay income tax and all that. You know, right, uh, nasty. Yeah. So I just looked, I said, me pay income tax. <laughs> no, thank you. No. But it won't come back, you see. Yeah. They like to say things. Uh, but not to follow it up, you see. Yeah. Mm. He probably uh, just got. He probably just got his income tax bill. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that. Like that. Oh, yeah. right. some people don't seem to uh, be able to accept the fact that it's for charity. Yeah. You know? mm. Well, this is it. Today is one of you know we're in a period of history where it is rare that somebody actually does something for nothing. Yeah. As it were, you know, like yourself, you're doing it for a charitable cause. It's a bit further in Bank Street, in our neighbourhood of Bramley Junction. Mm. Mm. But they kept complaining. Oh, yes, Bromley Shoe Shop complained a couple of times. Yeah. Mm. Mm. The poli police didn't like it, it, you know. Yeah. Police were ever so apologetic. Yeah, but this is it, you, you do they get that. to move me, see, yeah. because somebody had complained. Yeah. And they said, anyway, if you just move a few yards, it doesn't matter. Yeah, well, I would assume So I did, I just moved about. Oh, maybe 15 people yeah. to end there. Yeah, well, yeah. This is Been the, there ever since. Yeah, this is the attitude that I was on about. You've got the shoe shop that complained. 
because in their view you, you were distracting it you were, you were actually distracting the people from looking in their window yeah. or going in and buying their shoes yeah, yeah. But, but they got the wrong idea because it wasn't like that no, because people used to stand and listen to me and be oh, looking look in, in the window, window all the time yeah. It's they want the easy work. way out today, you know. They do. No idea will uh, take the trouble to learn anything mm. that's going to be a bit hard. Yeah. There's ever so many come up to me, young lads, when I'm playing at precinct and they're buzzing up. Is it easy to play one of them? Yeah. <laughs> not really. <laughs> and then, <laughs> not interested. Yeah. Then. This is it. The interest goes as soon as you say not really. Does <laughs> <laughs> it hurt your shoulders when you? No. Well, you get used it's to it, you see. Well, you see, that's part of the job, you see, as, as you learn, you learn to manipulate the bellows mm. easily, you see, and uh, it's in half as much strain once you've learnt it as what it is when you first start. When yeah. you first start, you forget about bringing it in and you're going out and out with yeah. it, like, you know, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and it's getting heavier and heavier, you see. <laughs> Not what you have to do, is to play it like a fan, you see. Well, I think... <coughs> you think what, sir? We ought to have a bit of music. I think we ought to have a break, yeah. yeah. Okay, then, yeah. I'm a bit of music from you, Bill. A bit of my music, Bill. A bit of your music, Bill. 